Hi guys and welcome back to Irony Completed. So today I thought I'd do for you a film noir, femme fatale kind of tutorial. I've been watching a hell of a lot of film noir movies in my film studies course this week so I was kind of inspired to create something femme fatale-y and 40s, 50s inspired. This would be perfect if you wanted to go as kind of a femme fatale or a 50s kind of figure for Halloween because this kind of makeup is really subtle costumey and all you have to do is pin curl your hair and throw on a full skirt. But this makeup is also just really fun everyday glam kind of makeup as well if you guys are into that kind of thing. So stay tuned if you want to know how I got this face and let me know what you guys think down in the comments and I'll see you at the end of the video. On with the tutorial. Let me tell you while I'm priming my eyes that I was watching Crybaby while I was recording this. So if I seem distracted at any point, it's because Crybaby. So first I'm taking the MUA Rhapsody palette and I'm taking the peachy shade and putting that all over my lids up to the crease with a flat shader brush type thingy. Then I blended that out with a clean fluffy brush and then I took this shimmery light shade and I'm putting that in my inner corners and blending it in to the peachy shade that I put before. And after that I took this light brown colour as a transitional kind of shade and I put that into my crease and blended it out until it was soft and smoky because eyeshadow in this kind of look isn't the main focus. Then I took this darker matte brown and I put that into my crease as well but focusing it more in the outer half of my crease so the look doesn't get too dark and again just blending it out with a clean brush after I lay that colour down. Then I am prepping my skin for foundation with the Professional Primer by Benefit, pushing that into all of my pores and my problem areas because flawless skin is vital for a film noir on camera kind of look. So I'm using Hello Flawless by Benefit in the, the lighter shade they make it all over my face and blending it in with this Real Techniques buffing brush and making sure my skin looks flawless, layering up the coverage where I need it. And for extra flawlessness, if that's a word, I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer around my nose and on any spots or redness that is peeking through. I'm blending that in with the same brush but in more like tapping motions. And for my under eyes, I'm using the Touche Magique Concealer by L'Oreal in the lightest shade, which is actually a highlighting shade on me, hooray! So I'm putting that in this kind of fan triangle shape to highlight my under eyes and conceal my dark circles. And I'm blending that in with the Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, just like always. To set my under eyes, I'm using a transparent powder. This one is Stay Matte by Rimmel. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Urban Decay Loose High Definition Powder thing in Naked Light, I think the shade is. And this is because this powder gives a really lovely diffusing effect to the skin, it makes you look really flawless. Then I'm smoking the two brown shades from before underneath my eyes, focusing the darker one on a smaller brush to the outer corners of my eyes, but the lighter shade I'm kind of smoking all up under there. Got it wrong. And then obviously winged eyeliner is a super super important part of film noir 40s, 50s makeup. So I'm doing a winged eyeliner with this Maybelline gel eyeliner and the important thing is to make the wing not too exaggerated but thicker on the outer corner and very very thin towards the inner corner. I'd use reference photos if I were you and you'll see what I mean. And then I did my other eye off of the camera because I, um, I can't ever make my eyes even to be honest. After my dance break, I put a nude creamy eyeliner into my waterline to make my eyes look bigger. This one is an MUA eyeliner. And 
And after that, I put the same shimmery eyeshadow from before under my eyebrows, which by the way, I did off camera, I forgot to say. And then I curled my eyelashes and applied several coats of their Real by Benefit, which makes you genuinely not need falsies, or at least it makes me not need falsies. And obviously big lashes were also super important to the femme fatale look. Your lashes have to be so fierce that you could bat your eyes and kill a man. And then I started posing, which I thought was really funny considering the background noise. Hashtag feeling myself. And then I used Rosy Glow from the Natural Collection on oh, my cheeks. I didn't contour for this look, so the placement of my blush is very important. I kind of place it towards the backs of my cheeks and my temples, and that makes you look like you have stronger cheekbones than you do without contouring. Then I used What's Up by Benefit to highlight my face, and glowing skin was really important. I'm going to layer some highlights after I blend in this What's Up by Benefit with my fingers. After I uh, blend this in, I'm going to use a Light Scapade by MAC for extra beautiful glowiness. And of course, what is a femme fatale look without red lipstick? And I will be using none other than Siren by number seven, which I think is the perfect 50s, 40s film star red colour. I'm going to give my top lip a rounded 40s shape, which is very characteristic of the actresses in film noir films of the time. Again, look at reference photos if you're unsure what I mean. And then you're done and you can pose to your heart's content, looking like a femme fatale beauty. Look so good you could kill. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did and you want to recreate it, then go right ahead and send me some pictures on Instagram. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Tumblr or Instagram, they'll all be linked down in the description along with every product that I use on my face and what I'm wearing. Let me know what kind of other costume looks you'd like to see. I have a couple of ideas for some other pretty easy and simple costumes that you guys could do for Halloween. Some pretty five minute Halloween look kind of things. Thank you guys so so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!